the chamber. Once someone enters, there is no turning back. Tonight, within these steel walls, human endurance will be taken to its very limits. Participants will be subjected to unbearable environments and incredible physical stress. Scorching heat, sub-zero cold, and hurricane-force winds. If anyone can make it through all seven levels, they could walk away with more than $100,000. Will it be worth it? Welcome to the chamber. Hello, I'm Rick Schwartz. Behind me is the chamber, and as you may have already seen, it will challenge even the hardiest of souls. Contestants who make it into this steel hellhole will suffer through a series of physical and mental tortures. All the while, they must maintain complete concentration as they try to answer rapid-fire questions. There are two types of chambers. Extreme heat, where white-hot flames drive temperatures above 150 degrees, and unbearable cold, which will force contestants to endure water, ice, and sub-zero conditions. If anyone can conquer all seven levels of either chamber and successfully answer 25 questions correctly, a new and even more torturous chamber will be created. Future competitors may have to endure the electric shock chamber, the water torture chamber, and the swarming insect chamber. Will one of tonight's challengers have what it takes to beat the chamber? We'll see. But first, two people will compete to see who will enter the chamber. The preliminary round is about to begin. This is Biagio Messina. Biagio is married and a computer expert, currently learning to scuba dive, planning to take up paragliding this summer. And this is Karen Gordon. Karen has a degree in economics from Harvard, and she's into organic cooking and alternative healing. She may need to be. In this round, I will ask a question such as, name the gifts given in the song, The 12 Days of Christmas. They'll each give one answer until one of them gives an incorrect answer. If the other player can then answer correctly, they will earn a point. The first player with two points goes on to enter the chamber. It's time for our first question. Biagio, we'll start with you. Name the U.S. states with an ocean coastline. California. Florida. New York. New Hampshire. New Jersey. Nevada. That unfortunately has some nice watery lakes, but does not have an ocean coastline, Karen. Biagio, a chance for a point. Uh, Washington. Biagio, you've taken the lead. One more point for you, and you'll have the chance to enter the chamber. Let's move on. The score is one for Biagio. Name the movies featuring the lead character, James Bond 007 Biagio. We'll start with you. License to Kill. Time. Finger. Did we get it in? Incorrect. Biagio. A chance to enter the chamber. Goldfinger. My friend. You've done it. Biagio has qualified and will now enter the arena where the chamber awaits. The computer will now select which chamber Biagio will face. And it's hot. Biagio will face the chamber's extreme heat. There are seven levels to the chamber. Biagio will be asked a series of questions, each one worth $1,000. There is no penalty for a single incorrect response, but if Biagio provides two incorrect responses consecutively, the chamber will shut down and Biagio will forfeit half of his earnings. If Biagio can somehow manage to answer at least 25 questions correctly, and he completes all seven levels of the chamber, we will triple his earnings. As Biagio descends toward the chamber, our medical technicians are waiting for him. They will make sure that Biagio is properly secured and monitored inside the chamber. 
And to protect his safety, we will be monitoring his vital signs by way of his stress quotient. That's an equation consisting of mean arterial blood pressure and pulse rate. Our physician examined Biagio earlier and set 366 as his danger zone. If Biagio's stress quotient exceeds 364 for 20 seconds, or if our doctor feels Biagio is in any danger at all, the chamber will be shut down. I have a notorious reputation, I guess, for being kind of a wimp. This is my big chance to show everybody, hey, look, I'm not a wuss after all. I'm in the chamber. Biagio, how you feeling over there? I'm feeling great, man. Thank you. Now, you okay, I'm feeling pretty scared, okay? That's okay, okay, good. Honesty is appreciated. Now, you've received medical clearance, correct? Uh, yes, so they tell me. What you've just been handed is a release form, which I know you've read before the show. I'm hoping you understand it. By signing this release, you acknowledge you are fully aware of the risks involved when you enter the chamber. Are you aware of that? Yeah, yeah, I they said so. Okay. All right. You're going to sign that release. I guess you just did, didn't you? Oh, it's signed. It's, that's it. I'm ready to go. Okay. All right. Now, you know that if the chamber gets to be too much for you, Biagio, you can yell three words. Stop the chamber. And mercifully, the chamber will terminate. You understand that, right, Biagio? Uh, yes, I do understand. All right. We want to make sure you're all right. Now, you will, however, lose half of what you've earned to that point should you stop the chamber. If you can make it through the entire seven minutes, though, you will keep all your money. And remember, if you answer 25 questions or more correctly, while completing all seven levels of the chamber, we will triple your money. Yeah, that sounds better. Yeah, I'm sure it does. There's more than $100,000 on the line here for you, my friend. But this is your last chance right now. You can call it quits right here. We'll give you 500 bucks. What do you say? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, we're going for it. That's it. I I'm nervous, but... Uh, no, nah, 500 bucks ain't gonna get me out of this. Forget it. All right. Nervous but determined. Biagio, our medical techs, have already connected the electronic muscle contractors. The blood pressure cuff on your arm and those electrodes will allow the doctors to track your stress quotient. We'll keep an eye on your current stress level in the upper left corner of the screen. Biagio, you know we can get up to 150 degrees in there, don't you? No. The technicians are making their final adjustments. The chamber will begin right after this. Sit tight, Biagio. <sighs> Biagio Messina is ready to take on the chamber for his shot at $100,000. Biagio, good luck. The chamber is about to begin. The chamber is set in its extreme heat mode. Remember, temperatures inside can rise to more than 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's warm in here. Yes, it is. Flames and powerful radiant heaters will surround you on all sides. I've been looking to lose a little extra weight. Biagio, we've had a good time together. <laughs> Jeez, man, it'd be a little more cryptic, why don't you? Things are about to get very serious for you right now. Yes, sir. We're behind you, Biagio. Thank you. All systems are go. Okay. All right, level one, hot. Temperature of scorching 110, but just warming up. Quake scale, 6.0. On a scale of one to 10, flame intensity at four. That'll ramp up to. Biagio, radiant heat's just been turned on. How's it feel? All right, it's just got a lot hotter. We're tracking your vital signs. Remember, don't play Mr. Tough Guy. Don't be ashamed. If you can't continue, let me know. We'll get you out of there, all right? Here we go. Let's do it. Chamber level one to commence. The trio of Snap, Crackle, and Pop are found on boxes of what Kellogg cereal? Please repeat the question. The trio of Snap, Crackle and Pop are found on boxes of what Kellogg's cereal? Rice Krispies. Correct. Which of these Sesame Street characters is a real grouch? A, Oscar. B, Elmo. C, Big Bird. D, Cookie Monster. A, Oscar. Correct. What military rank precedes the name of Kentucky Fried Chicken founder Harlan Sanders? Colonel. Correct. Shakespeare or Dr. Seuss, who wrote McElligot's Pool? 
Shakespeare. Incorrect. Answer the next question incorrectly, and the chamber will stop. In what Washington, D.C. landmark would you find the Lincoln bedroom? The White House. Correct. On the classic sitcom All in the Family, which of these insulting names did Archie regularly call his son-in-law? A. Cheesehead. B. Airhead. C. Meathead. D. Jellyhead. C. Meathead. Correct. Well, it's getting smoked. Level one complete. On to level two. We're heating up now. 120. Level one Weight down. scale. Shaking. Flame intensity up to five. And two new surprises. Chair rotation and muscle contraction. Hang it in there, man. Hang it in there. How hot is this for you? Not hot enough, baby. Bring it on. Biagio, you asked for it, buddy. Here we come. Biagio's up to 5,000 bucks. Got a good feeling about him. Mocha Frappuccino is a trademark drink of what ubiquitous Seattle-based national coffee chain. Starbucks. Correct. What female journalist recently signed a $60 million deal to continue hosting NBC's Today Show? Sure, Green Pack. Incorrect. The correct response is Katie Couric. Answer the next question incorrectly and the chamber will stop. On April 4th, 1964, which one of these groups had Billboard's top five songs? A, Rolling Stones, B, Beatles, C, The Animals, D, Pink Floyd. The Beatles. Correct. Shakespeare or Dr. Seuss? Who wrote King Stilts? Dr. Seuss. Correct. The phrase, gentlemen, start your engines, begins what famous Memorial Day auto race? Uh, the Indy 500. Correct. Yes. Oh, it's hot. Level two. Oh, complete. they're shocking my back. They're killing me. Chamber increasing to level three. Temperature ridiculous. Quake scale 7.0. Oh, yeah. I'm doing good. Oh, they're shocking my legs. It's killing me. Well, it's supposed it's to. Me. All right, hang in there. I'm okay. I'm We're okay. We're concerned about your vitals. Status check, Biagio. Oh, I feel good. Bring it on. Bring it on! You want it? You got it. Oh my At God, which of these gas stations would you find an AM-PM mini-mart? A, Shell. B, Union 76. Ah! C, Chevron. D, Arco. C, Chevron! Incorrect. The correct response is Arco. Well, Answer the next question incorrectly and the chamber will stop. Ah! Which I'm of the okay. following is the last name of the Nickelodeon cartoon character whose first name is SpongeBob? A. Droopy Drawers. B. Blue Socks. C. No Neck. D. Square Pants. Blue Socks! Incorrect. The correct response ah. was Square Pants. Chamber to shut down in three, two, one. Chamber shut down. Woo! Biagio. That's two in a row incorrect. I'm sorry, but we've got to take you out. Hey, man, you did great. You hey, did thank great. you, man. I'll beat the heat in the chamber seat. Well, let's just say you warmed up to the game very nicely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Biagio, you didn't make it through seven levels, but you did no, make $4,500. That's half of the $9,000 you earned answering questions. You'll walk away with $4,500, and we appreciate you playing. Great attitude, man. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir. I'm going to get my wife something real nice, Joke. I love you, baby. There you go. All right, guys, stick around. We'll right back Thanks, sir. with more of The Chamber right after this. We're back here at The Chamber. Now it's time to meet our next contestants. This is Steve Ross. Steve is single and plays a variety of sports. He's got a bachelor's degree in history. His only fear, crocodiles. And this is Katie Johnson. Katie has a master's of fine arts degree. She's into swing dancing and theater, and she's afraid of heights. In this round, I will ask a question, such as, name the novels written by Stephen King. They'll each give one answer until one of them gives an incorrect answer. If the other player can then answer correctly, they will earn a point. The first player with two points goes on to enter the chamber.
Let's do it. Steve, you'll answer first. Name the models of vehicles made by Toyota for the 2002 model year. Avalon. Camry. Celica. Sentra. Here we go, Steve, for a point. Oh, uh, Corolla. That is correct, and that is a point for you. This is a friendly competition, it looks like. <laughs> One more point for Steve, and he'll be able to enter the chamber. We begin with Steve. Which 20th century presidents have been members of the Democratic Party? Clinton. Carter. Lyndon B. Johnson. Ford. No. That is wrong. I'm sorry, Katie. For the chamber, give the answer. John F. Kennedy. The chamber is yours, Steve. Steve has qualified and will now enter the arena where the chamber awaits. The computer will now select which chamber Steve must face. And it's cold. Steve will take on the sub-zero conditions of the chamber. Steve, you will be asked a series of questions, each correct response worth $1,000. You will not suffer a penalty for a single incorrect response, but if you give me two in a row, the chamber will shut down. You'll forfeit half of your earnings. If Steve can somehow manage to answer at least 25 questions correctly and complete all seven levels of the chamber, we will triple his earnings. Now, as he descends toward the chamber, our medical technicians are awaiting him. They will make sure Steve is properly secured and monitored inside the chamber. To protect his safety, we will be monitoring his vital signs by way of his stress quotient. What's that you say? Well, it's an equation consisting of mean arterial blood pressure and pulse rate. Our physician examined Steve earlier and set 345 as his danger zone. 345. If Steve's stress quotient exceeds 345 for 20 seconds, or if our doctors feel that Steve's in any danger at all, at any time, we are going to have to shut down the chamber. If Steve does approach his danger zone, the chamber will notify him. It's already cold, and I'm not even in the chamber yet. I'm definitely designed for the heat. <laughs> Stay in the present, answer the questions, handle it, and I'll be all right. Can you hear me, Steve? Yes, I can hear you. All right, speak up for me. All right. That's can better. Hear. Good. Can you adjust a little bit? Can, you, can the sound be a little bit better, maybe? Just a little bit. It will. We'll check on that. Now, Steve, you've received medical clearance to be here today, haven't you? Yes. Okay. You see that in front of you? That's the release you looked at before the show. Right. You read it over. By signing this, you acknowledge that you are fully aware of the risks involved when you enter the chamber. You okay with that? Yes. Good. Can't even see my own signature. <laughs> Nervous? Doing all right. Okay, good. Stay cool. You know that if the chamber gets to be too much for you, you can yell, stop the chamber. Right. The chamber will stop. All right. Say it loudly, though. Make it clear if you need it. Remember, if you say stop the chamber, you're going to have to take away half of what you've earned. All right? But don't hesitate if it's a dangerous situation. Now, if you make it through all seven levels, Steve, you'll keep all your money. Remember, if you answer 25 questions or more correctly and complete all seven levels of the chamber, we will triple your money. 
Who knows how high it can get? Could be more than a hundred thousand bucks. Could you use a hundred thousand bucks? Question is, do I need a hundred thousand dollars? Yes. All right, I'll ask that question. <laughs> yes. Who doesn't? Right. Call it quits right here. You get five hundred bucks. Walk away. Go have a nice dinner. Maybe a nice weekend somewhere. Answer. I'm not gonna take that. I know. We'll see if Steve can survive the chamber and win over $100,000 when we return. Steve, don't go anywhere. Chamber. Once someone enters, there is no turning back. Tonight, within these steel walls, human endurance will be taken to its very limits. Participants will be subjected to unbearable environments and incredible physical stress. Scorching heat, sub-zero cold, and hurricane-force winds. If anyone can make it through all seven levels, they could walk away with more than $100,000. Will it be worth it? Welcome back to the chamber. Steve Ross has qualified to enter the chamber and compete for over $100,000 in cash. Looks like it's time to begin. Good luck, Steve. The chamber is set in its cold mode. Temperatures inside will drop to 10 degrees below zero. Wind cannons will blast chilled air at up to 140 miles per hour. And Steve will have to contend with water jets that will unleash a freezing mixture of water and ice. Here we go. Level one, cold chamber temperature, 30 degrees, bone chilling, quake scale, 6.0. Water jets turned on. We're about to make your life miserable. Chamber, level one to commence. Groundhog Day falls on what month and date each year? Repeat the question, please. Groundhog Day falls on what month and day each year? February. What is the... Oh, February... Burn. You did not answer the question in the time allowed. Oh. Answer the next question incorrectly, and the chamber will stop. Which of the following magazines offers its famous seal of approval? A. Woman's Day. B. Red Book. C. Rosie. D. Good Housekeeping. The answer is Good Housekeeping. Correct. The Stratosphere, Luxor, and Rio are all popular hotels in what U.S. city? The answer is Las Vegas. Correct. Boy, he's shivering, and there's ice forming on his head already. Level one complete. All right, up to level two. You think one was cold? Try 20 degrees. Quake scale, rocking at 6.5. Water jets blasting harder in your face. Oxygen level 90%. And look at that. Muscle contractors, that'll bring some pain. Steve, are you all right in there? I'm fine. Are you adjusting to the temperature? Yes, I'm doing what I can do. <laughs> can you hear the questions all right? Yeah, I can hear you. And can you hear the chamber okay? Yeah, I can hear the chamber. Sure. Okay, all right, let's move on. Which of the following publications bills itself as the nation's newspaper? A, the Christian Science Monitor. B, USA Today. C, the Los Angeles Times. D, the Wall Street Journal. The answer is USA Today. Correct. Bill Clinton is currently having his presidential library built in what city? Let's see. The answer is Washington, D.C. Incorrect. Ah. The correct response is Little Rock, Arkansas. Oh. If you answer the next question incorrectly, the chamber will stop. Okay. Which of the following services are provided by the company known as Charles Schwab? A, house painting. B, financial planning. C, swimming pool construction. D, weight loss. The answer is financial planning. Correct. 
level two complete. Chamber increasing to level three. Temperature freezing to 10. Quake scale like you've never felt. Water jets just killing you. Oxygen level, tough to breathe. Muscle contractors, painful. And look at that. We're starting the ice storm. All right, what's most difficult in there? The water and the temperature. It's cold. My head. Let's move on. You got frost on your head. Here we go, level three. Oh. What comedian traded places and gave voice to the donkey sidekick in Shrek? The answer is Eddie Murphy. Correct. Which astrological sign is represented by a crab? The answer is cancer. Correct. Artist William Wegman is best known for his photos of which of the following animals posed in human-like positions? A. Cats. B. Cows. C. Dogs. D. Koalas. The answer is dogs. Correct. What number form is used for filing individual federal income tax returns in the United States? The answer is 1040. Correct. Which of the following is listed on the periodic table? A. Chemical elements. B. Shoe sizes. C. Metric conversions. D. Historical eras. The answer is chemical elements. Correct. Level three complete. Danger zone. Uh-oh, danger zone, Steve. That is not good news. If you're in your danger zone for 20 seconds, the doctors are going to pull you out of there. My friend, it's only getting worse. Steve, I'm getting concerned about you. You're in your danger zone. I'm doing fine. Keep it going. Well, your levels are up, so you need to get them down or you're coming out. I feel great. You're at $9,000 right now. Let's keep going. Let's go. Which classic band had the number one album of 2001? Oh, I don't, oh, well, let's see. Can you repeat the question, please? Which classic band had the number one album of 2001? Classic band. Oh! You did not answer in the time allowed. The correct response was the Beatles. Answer oh. the next question incorrectly, and the chamber will stop. Right. Danger zone. Which of the following is the longest running show in Broadway history? A, a chorus line. B. Les Miserables. C. Cats. D. Fiddler on the Roof. The answer is cats! Correct. Precious metals are usually measured in which of these types of weights? A. Troy ounces. B. Hellenic ounces. C. Atomic ounces. D. Midas ounces. Please repeat the question! Precious metals hear. are usually measured in which of these types of weights? A. Troy ounces. B. Hellenic ounces. C. Atomic ounces. D. Midas ounces. Atomic ounces! Incorrect. The correct oh. response was Troy ounces. Answer the first Good. question of the next level incorrectly, and the chamber will stop. On the level five, Steve, you're doing great, but you are in your danger zone and your time is running out. Uh, Steve, bad news. You've been, in, you've been in danger zone. I'm doing fine. You've been in the danger zone 20 seconds. We have got to pull you out. Chamber shut down. Steve? Yeah. You I'm, did great. I know you feel all right. Yeah, I feel fine. But it's a physical and mental force that you're up against right there. Right? You're shaking violently. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I could have kept going. Unfortunately, Great. our doctors would not allow that. We have to protect you. That's our first responsibility, as you know. All right. What was most difficult about it? Uh, I think this phrase in the face because it was hard to hear the questions. Right. So all you were concerned with was hearing the questions. Basically, I just wanted to keep going. Uh huh. You ever had the shivers like this? Oh yeah, I've been in this. Oh yeah, I've, yeah, I have. Yes, I have. $5,000 for you, my right. friend. Congratulations. You're a great a contestant. It was a pleasure to watch you. Thank you. We will uh, return in just a few minutes right here on the chamber.
Welcome back to the chamber. Time to meet our next contestants. This is Andre Morgan. Andre served in the United States Air Force. He collects comic books and has a fear of snakes. This is Shona Wood. Shona was born in Scotland, is into hiking and skiing. She's currently writing her first novel. In this round, I will ask a question such as, name the seven dwarves. They'll each give one answer until one of them gives an incorrect answer. And if the other player can then answer correctly, they will earn a point. First player with two points goes on to enter our chamber. Andre, Shona, ready to duke it out? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Okay. Time for our first question, then. So here we go. Andre, name the U.S. states which begin with the letter N, as in Nancy. Nebraska. North Dakota. Nevada. New England. Mm -mm -mm. Andre. All righty, here we go. Um, New Hampshire. Got it in just in time. Andre scores. He has the lead. Shona, you begin. Name the movies which star Tom Cruise. Top Gun. Kiss of a Vampire. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Shona, to tie it up. Born on the 4th of July. We're tied. Next point for the chamber. Andre, you begin. All right. What are the first names of the last 10 United States presidential first ladies? Bush. Shona for the chamber. Barbara. We were looking for the first names, oh. Andre. The first names. Good job. And by the way, it was interview with a vampire. vampire. Okay. Shona has qualified and will now enter the arena where the chamber awaits. The computer selects the chamber Shona will face. Hot. Shona will take on the extreme heat of the chamber. There are seven levels to the chamber, each one more hellish than the last. While Shona endures this torture, she will be asked a series of questions, each correct response worth $1,000. There is no penalty for one incorrect response, but if she answers incorrectly twice in a row, we're gonna shut down the chamber, and you'll forfeit half of your earnings. If Shona can somehow manage to answer at least 25 questions correctly, and complete all seven levels of the chamber, we will triple her earnings. As Shona descends toward the chamber, our medical technicians are waiting for her. They will make sure that Shona is properly secured and monitored inside the chamber. To protect Shona's safety, we will be monitoring her vital signs by way of her stress quotient. That's an equation consisting of mean arterial blood pressure and pulse rate. Our physician has examined Shona set 366 as her danger zone. If Shona's stress quotient exceeds 366 for 20 seconds, or if our doctor feels Shona's in any danger at all, the chamber will be shut down. I have to do it. I can't look like an idiot. I need to keep repeating to myself, I can do this, I need to breathe, I need to just concentrate on the questions, ignore what's going on around me, just do it. Try my best. Very claustrophobic. <laughs> I'm terrified completely freaked out, but I know I can do it. Shona, can you hear me? Yes. Shona, where were you born? I was born in Scotland. You were? Yes. So you're used to a little rain in the face, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. A little. Well, you, you may see that. We'll see. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Any different to sit there? Uh, you know, I've been preparing for this for a few days now, but 
I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. I'll pull through. The medical techs are making their final adjustments. It's their job to do everything possible to keep you safe. We're attaching a blood pressure cuff and various electrodes that will allow our doctors to track your stress level. Shona, we're almost set to go. The monitors are in place now, and the electronic muscle contractors are being secured. Now, you've received medical clearance, correct, Shona? Yes, sir. Okay. We're going to ask you to sign this release. You've read this before the show. By signing, you acknowledge that you are fully aware of the risks involved when you enter the chamber. I'm glad that wasn't a problem. You know that if the chamber gets to be too much for you, Shona, what do you say? Stop the chamber. Great. And you know how you need to say it? Loudly. Stop the chamber! Right. Okay? The chamber will stop. At that point, though, you will give back half of what you've earned. Now, if you can make it through all seven levels, Shona, you not only keep all your money, but if you get 25 questions or more correctly at the same time while completing all seven, we're going to triple it. So more than 100,000 bucks on the line here. We're just about ready, Shona. Shona's looking a little nervous. I don't know. Does Shona have what it takes to defeat the chamber and earn the big money? We'll see when we return to the chamber. Shona, we're clear. Okay. You're in for the ride of your life. Good luck. Thank you. The chamber is about to begin. The chamber is in its hot mode. Temperatures inside can rise to more than 150 degrees. There are seven increasingly difficult levels to the chamber. Shona will earn $1,000 for each correct answer. Two incorrect responses are 20 seconds in her danger zone, and the chamber will shut down. Okay, level one, hot chamber, temperature 110 degrees. Earthquake scale, 6.0. On a one to 10 scale, flame intensity set at four. Chamber, level one, to commence. Who of the following was never a member of the Three Stooges comedy team? A, Curly, B, Shep, C, Larry, D, Zeppo. B, Shep. Incorrect. The correct response was Zeppo. Answer the next question incorrectly and the chamber will stop. In cartoons, what letter of the alphabet is put above a character's head to indicate he's asleep? C. Correct. Besides the sash with the year on it, which of the following is the only garment usually worn by Baby New Year? A. Diaper. B. Bonnet. C. Booties. D. Pajamas. A. Diaper. Correct. What month has only three letters in its name? May. Correct. Oh. Level one complete. Oh my gosh. That's kind of scary. Shona, are you okay in there? I'm fine. It's I'm warm fine. out here. How is it in there? It's hot as hell. It's supposed to be, and it's getting hotter. Okay. You want to stay? Keep going. Let's go level two. Level two. All right, raise the temp to 120. Quake scale up to 6.5. Up the flame intensity to 5. We'll start turning that chair now to 90 degrees. We'll turn it on the muscle contractors. That'll cause some discomfort. Air cannons on. Level two, let's go. Which of these is the term for a word that has almost the same meaning as another word? A, synonym. B, nymphet. C, anagram. D, palindrome. A, synonym. Correct. Caribbean, Pi Gob, and Texas Hold'em are variations of which of these games? A, craps. B, blackjack. C, bingo. D, poker. I was just in Vegas. The answer is D, poker. Correct. Which of these descriptive terms refers to a horse? A, bovine. B, feline. C. Equine. D. Vulpine. C. Equine. Oh, 
correct. Like what is like the that. number of the Apollo space mission that first landed on the moon? Um, Apollo 10. Incorrect. Level 2 complete. On to level 3, temperature rising 130, quake scale shaking at 7, flame intensity rises to 6, chair rotation halfway around muscle contractors, that'll be painful now. Foul odors are severe, air cannons up to 55 miles per hour. Show I smell a foul odor out here, how is it in there? It's smelly and it's hot and I don't like it, but I'm going to keep going. Okay, I want to warn you, you missed your last question, you missed the next one, you're coming out. Okay, Rick, I know. Let's go to level three, good luck. Oh, it's really, really smelly. Which of the following is the two-word motto of the Boy Scouts of America? A, be prepared. B, be cautious. C, be yourself. D, be there. A, be prepared. Correct. If you just purchased a Stratocaster, what do you now own? Guitar or airplane? A guitar. Correct. Oh my God, I don't like that. Name the current Cuban dictator who appeared on the cover of Cigar Aficionado magazine. Fidel Castro. Correct. Which came first, Vanilla Ice's first hit or Ben and Jerry's first ice cream store? Vanilla Ice's first hit. Incorrect. The correct response was Ben and Jerry. Answer the next question incorrectly and the chamber will stop. The word olfactory refers to which one of a person's five senses? Taste. Incorrect. Chamber to shut down. I am sorry, but that is two incorrect answers in a row. Let's get you out of there. Shona? Yes. Olfactory? I know. Refers to smell. Uh. And of all things, it smelled really stinky in there. You should have known that one. Yeah. Now, the temperature was up to 130 degrees in there. How bearable was that? You seemed like you were doing fine. It was pretty warm. I'm OK, though. I'm really stressed because I was wearing spandex on national TV. But other than that, I'm all good. Well, I'll just tell you, we really didn't notice, OK? You did fantastic. You're Thank fun you. to play with. And you walk away with $4,500. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, tonight, three competitors made valiant attempts to beat the chamber. Biagio Messina withstood the heat, yet fell in level three. Oh, I feel good! Bring it on! Biagio walked away with $4,500. He was happy about it. Steve Ross's body could not handle the stress of level five. And he is forced from the chamber with $5,000. The powerful air cannons proved Shona Wood's undoing. Oh my god, I don't like that. And she collapsed in the 135 degree heat of level three with $4,500. That's all the time we have for tonight. I'm Rick Schwartz, and I leave you with one question. Do you have what it takes to survive the chamber? Good night. Chamber to shut down in three, two, one.